gone to China right now. There are these 20 deals that have been announced or whatever it is, telling Chinese tourists to come and fill up the space. Is he pushing this a lot further than any of the... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not that Yamin yeah, I mean, was particularly pro-India either. You know, we've, we've had this up, up and down. But is he pushing the boundary further? And what do you think India's response should be to that? See, I, 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 you, you mentioned rightly President Yamin's time, which was, again, not so uh, good for India in terms of uh, relations with Maldives. But the difference was Yamin was primarily motivated by commercial interests. Uh, you know, politics just come to him on the way. And he utilized it for his ultimate uh, commercial ends. And that's why his friendship with China, which protected him. However, Moizu seems to be more on the conservative track. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so I think this is a prime uh, difference. I have not really heard much about Moizu's economic or uh, commercial. So we have to, uh, right. we have to w w really work hard, uh, you know, through diplomatic channels uh, to impress upon him. And, you know, it's very unfortunate and unforgivable that three junior ministers speak something uh, which is absolutely un uh, unparliamentary and to some extent, I would say, uh, not uh, in, in consonance with the dignity of their office. We, we saw strong reactions from the opposition, right? Mr. Nasheed and other people who are friends of India, they came out and they condemned that. Those ministers were suspended. How do you see this proceeding? I mean, is there a chance? Should India be working closely with the opposition now? Or is there no alternative but to reach out to Muizu at some point and say, look, what are you doing? At the end of the day, you can't manage without us. And, you know, India also needs the Maldives because of sea lanes and the rest of it. We don't want it to become a Chinese uh, you know, satellite uh, like Pakistan. My, my, my hunch is as uh, the presidency sinks in, in his head and, you know, he understands more and more about India's role in Maldives, India's relations with Maldives, the depth, the spread. Uh, you know, it's not limited to strategic alone. Uh, it's people-to-people -people relations. It's about health. It's about education. It's about tourism. Uh, so, you know, economy is uh, majorly right now dependent on India too. But also, you know, who will go to the uh, 200 inhabited islands? Which doctors will go if they are from India? Which, which country will send its teachers to the distant faraway islands? It has to be India. So uh, no one else has taken that place in the last, uh, say, 40 years or so. Uh, and yeah. so India has, a, apart from having a strong strategic relationship with Maldives, primarily because Indo-Pacific and India's own, uh, you know, role, uh, both real, real and perceived, and what uh, aspirations we have about our own position in the world. It's very important that uh, we do have Maldives on our sides, though we may not agree on every single point. 